the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are traditionally known for being reserved when it comes to showing affection, particularly during public engagements. However it seems that behind the scenes, it's a different story for Kate, 37, and William, 36, who were filmed holding hands yesterday as they boarded a helicopter to Blackpool. The couple, who have been married for almost eight years, may be taking a leaf out of Harry and Meghan's book, as the couple are known for their affectionate displays. Kate and William were heading to the seaside town, where they spent the day visiting a series of innovative projects focused on investment and regeneration, as well as learning how the resort is tackling some of the social and mental health problems faced by people in Britain. Kate cut an elegant figure in the rain opting for an olive 940 pounds sports max coat, a 225 pounds Michael Kors patterned peacock dress, and accessorized with a recycled 435 pounds green Manu Atelier bag and black knee-high boots. The new video, taken by a royal fan outside their Kensington home, has pictured the Cambridges putting on an affectionate display ahead of their arrival to the public engagement yesterday morning. Harry and Meghan have previously come under fire for being too affectionate in public, with experts claiming it doesn't follow royal precedent and appears unprofessional. But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's more relaxed and personable approach to public engagements now appears to have rubbed off on the more formal royal couple, whose latest tactile display is one among a series in recent months. Shared by royal fan Juliana Campos from London's Kensington Palace Gardens, the video shows the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge smiling as they stroll to a waiting helicopter behind the palace. Walking hand in hand, the display is a far cry from their usual more formal appearances and appears to follow the newlywed Sussex's more affectionate mannerisms. Etiquette expert William Hansen previously told Female that he felt it was unprofessional for royals to show affection or emotion in public. Questioning newlywed Meghan, 37 and 34-year-old Harry's tactile displays during their Australasia tour last October, he said, there is no protocol rule that says royalty cannot touch, just precedent and common sense. Do not forget that royal engagements are professional environments. It's work. If Harry and Meghan were not who they are and worked for any other firm, they would not be allowed to walk down the corridors holding hands, cooing over each other. However just weeks later, in November, Prince William was pictured as he wrapped a protective arm around his wife during the armistice commemorations, a dramatic departure from his traditionally more stiff public appearances. Speaking to female, body language expert Judy James said at the time, now that Meghan has joined the firm, her own determinedly tactile behavior with Harry does seem to have had a profound echo effect on William and Kate's rituals. Normally it's a younger sibling that will mimic or mirror the older. But in Harry and William's case it seems to be William taking his lead from his younger brother and his wife. Judy says this could also be down to the couple not wanting to offer any hint as to the state of their marriage in the manner of William's parents, adding, Diana and Charles created a body language soap opera with some expressive displays of nonverbal behavior. William seems to have cautiously erred on the side of Bland with their total lack of PDAs meaning there have also never been signs of rifts, fallings out or disagreements either. Judy added, when a couple have been married several years it can often take family newlyweds like Harry and Meghan to rekindle some more public displays of romance like this. On Wednesday Kate and William spent a busy day in Blackpool, greeting royal fans outside the Blackpool Tower, including a group of adorable youngsters who greeted them with flowers. The pair, sheltering under large black umbrellas, were greeted at the landmark mid the downpours with cheers from a crowd of several hundred well-wishers gathered outside on the promenade, including youngsters who charmed Kate with bunches of flowers. As one little girl shouted hello princess, Kate waved and smiled, and she also promised locals she would bring her three children George, Charlotte and Louis along on her next visit. William and Kate were met by local dignitaries including the mayor and mayoress of Blackpool, Gary, and Debbie Coleman, as they stepped inside for a briefing about the town's investment and regeneration projects. Once inside the historic tower, Kate and William briefly stopped at a giant mirror unveiled by the Princess of Wales in July 1992 to mark the opening of Tower World, with the Duke describing it as fantastic and amazing. 
the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge continued their day with a visit to Blackpool Central Library, where they joined two separate discussions focusing on issues and initiatives of particular relevance to each of their ongoing charitable interests. The Duchess met with members involved in Blackpool's A Better Start charity program, including health visitors, practitioners from the Family Nurse Partnership, and parents. Meanwhile, during a roundtable meeting on the investment and regeneration efforts that are currently underway, William addressed the challenges facing the town. The Duke began by saying that Blackpool is one of the most loved seaside towns in Britain but that there is a sadder side to Blackpool, which we will be seeing a bit of today. He talked about how they would be seeing the new future planned for Blackpool. Speaking about its history, he described how it was once a jewel in the crown of the British tourism industry before people began to travel further afield for their holidays and it faced economic decline and unemployment. The royal couple also learned more about Blackpool's A Better Start program, one of five such 10-year projects in the UK funded by the National Lottery Community Fund. Meanwhile Kate and William's joint engagement came as Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37 made a surprise appearances on stage at children's charity We Day star-studded event in London's Wembley today. The Duke of Sussex made a speech on stage, cheered on by his pregnant wife, who looked business chic in black skinny jeans and a navy blazer. The princes and their wives have had a busy week of engagements, and were pictured together for the first time since Christmas as they celebrated Prince Charles' 50 years of service at a Buckingham Palace reception thrown by the Queen on Tuesday.